<laughs> you want to see the fastest way to open your tripod, baby? Check this out, man. Whoa. Huh? I'm at the Kobe Shrine here, but today's vlog, I'm teaching you guys a sick maneuver hoover. Check this out. All right, this is the move that I'm gonna teach you, but I literally have to go. I've got so much to do. Fear not though, friends, I'm gonna teach you throughout the day, let's go. Japanese Red Bull, baby. You know, it's got more power in it. <sighs> nah, it's just like a regular Red Bull. <coughs> you need me to sign something? No, I can't. You have to read this one. Oh, that's what I have to read that? <laughs> you okay. have to read an on a ceremony in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to read that. Mm. <laughs> call me, call me if you need me. <laughs> Before going into the shrine, it is customary to wash your hands right there. <laughs> These shrines. These shrines really feel like there's a magical quality to them. People come here and they, they tend to bow and then clap twice as they pray. It's kind of beautiful. Anyway, let's see if we can get back into that sweet tutorial for y'all. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with just this setup. The setup is that the card, you need to hold it in this kind of Spider-Man grip, okay? Now the card needs to be longest edge out, as far away from your palm as it can possibly get. And from here, you're gonna curl around the corners just very lightly and you're going to slowly turn your hand over as you open the fingers. You're gonna slowly turn the hand over and then it's gonna be balancing on the back of your hand, baby. So far, so good, right? This is a flattering angle. I look sexy. <laughs> now, once you get the card balanced on the back of your hand by doing this, you then have to do the flick. Now, the flick is interesting because what you wanna do is cross these two fingers over and then you're gonna flick this bottom one out just like that. Now, when you first try this, it's just not gonna work. I'll be honest with you. It's like, you'll do it, the card will just fall, whatever. The truth is, you need to get the perfect balance. So when you put it on the back of your hand, you use your pinky to just push that across a little bit. Then you cross over your fingers and you flick. And that'll make the card fly in that sick rotation, baby. What did you pray for? Healthy life. Healthy life. Happy life. Happy life. I prayed for business. Good business, baby. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> People go and they pray for all kinds of stuff. In my case, business. Yuki's case, happiness. <laughs> it's a real contrast here. <laughs> Today's lunch. Today's lunch is Kobe beef. What's the damage? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Dine and dash, baby, let's go! <laughs> of course I paid. Alright, let me quickly explain why I'm actually here at the shrine. You see, like three years ago when Yuki and I first got married, we actually more or less eloped. Just a handful of our closest friends and family in a room, we got married. We did always plan on eventually having a proper big ceremony in Japan. However, the very next day after the wedding was when the spicy cough took over the world and had us all in lockdown. Two years, we couldn't have the wedding. I stood at the altar, looking that woman in the eyes and telling her, I would look after her and provide for her from now until the end of our days. And the very next day, I was pretty much unemployed. <laughs> anyway, we fast forward until now, 
and uh, here we are planning out the ceremony. Finally, it's a little bit late, three years late, but we're doing it. Big party, that's what we're planning. That's what the shrine's for. That's what we've been doing all day with the paperwork. I get to wear a sick kimono. Check this out. <sighs> Feels good, man. I am the ultimate weave. <laughs> and yeah, that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> It was a sick kimono, right? Yours was very cute, darling son. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if you remember, but yesterday, the magic shop was closed. <laughs> Damn it. Boo. Today it's open and we're on our way. And by golly gosh, if it's closed, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> film much at the magic shop but I did get some cool stuff one of which I mean I'm just gonna show you but first of all a little a little setup if you don't mind <clears throat> you call that a color changing knife this is a color changing knife <laughs> look at the size of this thing man it's enormous it's a literal weapon look at this thing <laughs> blue but with a little shake it becomes red the perfect color for stabbing give me a wallet give me a wallet <laughs> nah, but for real though, look, we'll close that up. Ah, now you can see here, both sides are red, but with a little rub. Ooh, it's blue, baby. How cool is that, man? Another rub and it's back to red. The perfect color for stabbing. <laughs> anyway, I know that if you're not a magician, you're not really going to understand why that's so exciting for me. But you just can't get color-changing knives this big. Except for Japan. Enchanté. Enchanté.